Today we're going to have a close look at Atlas and we're going to find out why big brands like Nike, Adidas, BMW and so on choose to use Atlas. I'm going to share some power tips with you and how to use Atlas when you don't have access to a computer and we're going to find out why filmmakers and YouTubers choose Atlas in 2021. If you don't know what Atlas is, do you know what Atlas is? If you don't know and you're a filmmaker or YouTuber and want to use music in your videos, you need to use copyright free music. Meaning that you can use that video with that music without getting copyright claims from the artist or music label. And this is where companies like Artlist comes in and saves the day. This is the third year in a row that I am using Artlist and let's have a look at why I'm using Artlist as a filmmaker and YouTuber. Not only is the quality of the music very high, but they are also very clever in the sense of that they have multiple versions of the same song. You have songs where they might be singing, there's vocals on it. However, if you want to use that song, but you don't need to have the vocals because that might disturb the video in general, they also offer you instrumental versions of that song. If you want to take it a step further and you need to actually have different tracks of that song, you can also subscribe to their uh, sound effects library. We're gonna come back to that a bit later, where you can actually find different audio tracks, meaning you can have the, just the drum beat, just the guitar riff, just the piano, which makes it so amazing because you can personalize the music to your needs. You can find songs easily in categories like mood, where you have uplifting, epic, powerful, sexy, or by video theme, where you have uh, business, education, documentary, weddings, genre, cinematic, I use a lot, electronic, I use also a lot, hip hop, pop, and so on. Or if you want to a specific instrument, you also have drums, guitar, vocal, and so on. As mentioned before, big brands are using them in their commercials. They don't only use Artlist because the quality is so high, they also use it because of Artlist's licensing. Now this is something that you might not think about when you start out as a filmmaker or YouTuber. So before Artlist even existed, I had to purchase my music from elsewhere. But the problem back then was that the licensing was not good enough. And the songs were much more expensive compared to what Artlist is offering today in 2021. Now if you only make YouTube videos and you only have your channel, there might be other alternatives out there which are a little bit cheaper. But imagine that you have a client contacting you or it can be even a friend asking you could you please make me the short video like some cool sweet b-rolls you can't use the music because the license is only covering your channel and that's where Artlist shines because their license covers absolutely everything you don't have to worry about oh can I use this on Instagram TikTok or movies even if you unsubscribe to their service now this is a big deal that means that the music you downloaded while having an active subscription you can use that even five years afterwards in a new video that you made because it covers you forever there is no other platform at the moment that can offer that kind of license i mean it just makes it so much easier for filmmakers because you never have to think about licensing again. If you're a filmmaker or YouTuber like me, you know that it takes so much time to find the song that you want. So when I have client work and I am in my studio, instead of listening to music that I cannot use in my videos, I use my phone, I go to Artlist and I press one of their playlists. Now, why do I do that? That is because if I hear a song that I like, I will just save that by pressing the star button and it will be saved in my playlist. So the next time that you go to your computer, that will already be there where you can then organize it into your own playlists. I used it while setting up this YouTube setup. I also used it when I was preparing for this video. I was listening to then Best Cinematic of 2020. Now there might be songs that you don't necessarily like. I like to listen more to like techno, pop, electronic and hip hop. But you might have a client that wants to have something completely different. And by going through the playlists, you're gonna hear some different kind of music. If I go for a run or if I'm 
exercising in general, I also use the playlist. For the same reasons, if I like a song, I will save it. And you can even stream it from your phone if you have compatible system in your car. You can use Artlist and find the music for your future videos. Every now and then, you might get copyright claim, regardless of what platform you are using. You hear a lot of creators out there that have issues with competitors to Artlist regarding copyright claims. And there's so much work that needs to go into proving that it was your song that you had the license for either your platform, the client video, and so on. With Artlist, I did have one claim, but that was even from a song from like a couple of years ago. The artist removed that song from Artlist, and I guess he put it on another platform, I'm not sure. However, I emailed Artlist saying, oh, I've had this claim, less than 24 hours. They emailed me back saying, it's taken care of. So, customer service, very fast and effective. Should I have a copyright claim in the future, I know that Artlist is gonna take care of that for me. Now, a new addition to Artlist this year is the Artlist blog. And here you can find tips and tricks regarding filmmaking, music making in general, behind the scenes, how they shot different videos, how they made specific music and so on. You also have a section uh, called featured videos. You can find videos of big brands that have used Artlist. And when you click on the video, they will actually tell you which song was used in that specific commercial. So the pricing with Artlist starts at $199 for a whole year. That includes music, unlimited usage, unlimited downloads, covers everything. You can use it online, broadcast, movies, whatever you want to. But if you want to do like me, I also added the sound effects library, which I'm gonna review in a separate video. If it's online, it's gonna be there. If not, stay tuned. If you subscribe to both the music and sound effects library, you're gonna pay $299, but if you only need the sound effects library apart, you can pay 149 euros, but then you don't have access to the music, so I think it's a good deal that you pay $299 for both the music library and the sound effects. Now, before we continue, this video is sponsored by Artlist, but as I said in the beginning, this is my third year using them and I pay for my subscriptions. And even if they didn't sponsor this video, I would have still continued to use Artlist because I find their licensing to be essential as a professional filmmaker and YouTuber. If you click the link below, you're gonna get two months for free if you sign up to their service. Thanks, Artlist. So why do YouTubers and filmmakers choose Artlist in 2021? It basically comes down to the extremely high quality music and most importantly, the licensing. I have heard so many creators out there, big creators that have had problems with licensing through competitors. You know which ones I'm talking about. And they have all switched over to Artlist because of the licensing. If you by any chance should get a claim, Artlist will sort it out for you. You're not only paying for the extremely high music, you're paying for a solution. 